Hello, I'm Sid. Today we'll be learning form validation with Formic Yup in React.js. I've already created a React app. We will be installing Formic and Yup. Let's create a component called register. We need to import it in our app. We will have this register component. Let's import Formic and you. In order to do the form validation, we will be needing a schema. We will be passing the names of all the fields that we are going to use. Type of the name will be string. We want that the minimum character should be four. And if it is not at least four, then we will be getting this error message. Similarly, the maximum characters will be 32. We want to make it mandatory. Therefore, we will be using the required function. For phone, we want to use the regular expressions. Therefore, we will be using the matches function. If the phone number doesn't matches our regular expression, then we will be displaying this message. We want to make it mandatory, therefore, we'll be using required function again. We will be using the email method in order to validate it. We also need a password field. We will also have a confirm password and it should be matching the password that we have entered previously.
we need to ensure that the name that we are passing in the reference should be matching the one that we have entered previously. If the password doesn't matches, then we will be sending this message. will be creating a constant for formic we will be passing the initial values which will be an empty string we need to ensure that the names of the fields that we have entered should be matching the ones that we have passed in our schema We need to pass a validation schema. Once the user clicks on on submit button, then this function will be called. We'll be printing the values in our console. We will be needing a formic provider. Value will be formic that we have just created. Once a user clicks on on submit button, then we want to trigger the function of formic. Therefore, we need to pass the method of formic. We'll be doing the same thing for our reset button. We will be needing the field component and that will be passing the name that we have passed in our schema. The type will be text. We will also have a placeholder. We also need an error message component and the name should be matching the ones that we have given in our field. We need to change the name according to what we have entered in our schema. The type will be number. The type will be email. The type for the last two fields will be password. We need to change the name to confirm password. Finally, we will be having submit and reset button. We want to disable the button unless and until the form is valid.
the form is invalid, then it will be disabled. This is our reset button. Let's run our app. Let's click on name field and leave it blank. Then we will be getting this error message. Even if we enter three characters, then also we will be getting an error message. In phone have just entered six digits and you can see that we will be getting an error message. Have entered a valid password however it is not matching therefore we will be getting this error message and you can see that our button is disabled once the password matches then the submit button will be enabled let's click on it we can see that the data that we have entered is visible in our console Once we click on reset button, the fields will become empty. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.